Hey guys, if you read my blog, you know two things. One, I'm a finalist in the Mrs. Myers hunt for the next homemaker, and by voting for me, I can win a huge prize package that can mean I can open up a brick and mortar studio, which is a huge deal. So take a few minutes and go to the link below and vote for Lindsay M. And two, the focus for my blog and brand this year is sustainability, buying less and reusing more. So in the spirit of sustainability, I'm gonna share a really cool project with you guys, turning tin cans into candles. Here's how. For this project, you're going to need a few wash tin cans, cotton or wood wicks. You can find these online or in a craft store. I'm using a mix of soy wax chips and beeswax that I had left over from another project, popsicle sticks, a hot glue gun and glue stick, measuring cups, essential oils. I'm gonna mix a few of these to kind of create my own custom scent. And then make a makeshift double broiler with a pan, a few inches of water, and a measuring cup. Make sure your measuring cup is glass so we can heat it. And we're gonna melt our wax down in this and then pour it into our cans. And then we also need a set of watercolors and cardstock so we can make beautiful custom watercolor labels for our candles. First, glue your wicks to the bottom center of the clean cans with the dot of hot glue. If you can't reach all the way inside of your can, you can use a popsicle stick to help you push it in place. If using a cotton cord wick, wrap the extra wick around a popsicle stick to keep the cord taut while your candle hardens. Set up your double broiler and measure in wax chips. Each of my candles used about two fluid cups of wax. Slowly stir the chips with a popsicle stick until the wax is completely melted. Remove the melted wax from the double broiler and add in a few drops of essential oils to create your scent. Carefully pour the melted wax into your tin can. Stop about an inch from the top. After your candle begins to harden, you're gonna start to see some cracks and bubbles forming. So you're gonna wanna save a little bit of wax to fill in those holes at the very end of your candle making process. Recenter your wick and allow your candles to dry overnight. While you're waiting, you can work on a couple of abstract pieces of artwork to use as labels for your candles. Cut strips of your artwork to the width of your cans and secure in place with hot glue or double stick tape. And you're finished. I'm really happy with how my first batch of these turned out. One thing you do wanna consider is filling up your candle almost to the top and leaving a little bit of space and letting all of these cracks and holes kind of form as your first pour and then saving a little bit of wax to pour in on the top to kind of hide and fill in those holes. Um, I hope you try this project. Um, be sure to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to vote with me through the link below, Lindsay M, for the Mrs. Myers Hunt for the Next Homemaker. Thanks.